Now there's also a destination tab here. So when we will be sending email from our workflow or when we try to connect to any third party service or API, then we have to create a new destination here. Now in our main account, if you go into the homepage here where all the services and um, destinations are present, if you go into destination, there are certain destination which is created. Now, initially, we don't have anything when we activated our portal, then this destination was created, which is CPV2 underscore plugin underscore destination DEST. And when we activated workflow, then this destination was created. So this is a blank account which we started with. So I can show you what are all new destination, new services which will be created when we work with workflow. Now we will be also creating the Northwind destination because we will be calling Northwind services to create our simple workflow. Now let's go to our web ID. We will be adding the destination later on. And um, now if you go to service here and I will search for full stack web ID, this is enabled and I will basically go into the service. So you can see in the steps here also, go to full stack web ID, which is step number six. And uh, the step number five was new destination. So we can also add the new destination of Northwind here. So we don't have to come back again from the web ID when we basically want to use the Northwind. So let's go ahead and create that as well. And uh, to look into Northwind services, a lot of developer have been using the services. So just to give you a glimpse of it, again, for people who are new to Northwind, it's a free OData-based service which a developer can use to create use cases or application. And um, if we go into northwind.svc, which is the service route, you can see that what are all the collections we have or entity set, you can say. So for example, a employees collection, if I go into that, will give you all the list of employee and details. So it's better to view this in JSON. So I will say question marks dollar format equal to JSON. And let me run this. I also have JSON prettifier or JSON viewer. So you can see the JSON in a nice formatted way. So these are all employee details, ID, name, title, country, birth date, and a lot of details. And also this is a 64 bit picture for the employee. Now, for our purpose, we will be picking products. And um, if I go into products, what I will be doing is I will be basically getting one product from my workflow and I will try to set the context. Now, what is context? Why it is used? We will be talking once we encounter that. But for now, I will be creating a destination in my cloud platform for Northwind. So this is a step which we have been doing from long time or we have done it multiple times. If you have went through our previous courses of CDS or WebID, then we have done it multiple times there as well. So we will again do this. I will say Northwind and uh, here the URL will be the Northwind as we see demo northwind for development okay so we will uh, create now the property which is web id usage it will be odata underscore gen and um, we will be having web id enable which is going to be true and then we will be having web id system this is going to be northwind with is having n capital underscore data so these are three new additional property which we need to maintain here in our northwind and i will also basically add it here or when we provide this developer handbook i will be providing this uh, details out to you so you don't have to really remember a lot of things so First is web ID system, not win underscore data, then web ID enable, which is true. 
web id usage which is odata gem now this setting or this uh, destination will be primarily used to get odata so i have mentioned here odata underscore gen which is generation okay so let me double check everything and here i can get rid of this slash and let's save it so it will take few seconds before this connection can be used but i can check the connection and it's basically giving me a green tick so it's properly working now i can also give only the service odata.org so if i only provide this then every time i use this destination i have to manually add this as the path so based on what is your url in the destination you have to give appropriate path when you try to use so now if i try to use north wind then i can just use a slash and i will basically get access to all the collection here which is mentioned so all this collection i will have access to so you are familiar with this as we have been working with north wind from a couple of years so i will not explain much about it if you want to know more about destination then please refer to web id course which we have in the platform